Welcome to Eternal Manor, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 51, the, the prayer of confession and repentance. And we said the first prayer that David prayed was, cleanse me, verses 1 to 7. And he uses three different expressions uh, to denote what he had done. My transgressions, my iniquity, my sin. And then David says something very interesting in verse 3. My sin is ever before me. What do you mean by that? Another way of saying it is, my sin haunts me day and night. I can't dismiss it from my mind. The tape is replaying itself over and over and over again. Now, in the one year that David covered up his sin, it was business as usual. He was king and uh, he was running his kingdom. Uh, his close associates kind of knew something was not quite right. I mean, it's not the same David, but they couldn't really uh, put their finger on what the problem was. But David was miserable on the inside. Externally, we can all put up a good show. <laughs> we can all pretend that everything is fine. And we are masters at that. But internally, we are, we are really, really miserable. The misery of sin. Our sin haunts us day and night. And yes, we can't dismiss it. And it is only when we appropriate the cleansing virtues of the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is that uh, sin removed and the peace comes in. David is saying, I am stained, I am contaminated, I am dirty, I am filthy. So David is being brutally honest. My sin is ever before me. And then in order to remove the misery of sin, David is going to use some expressions of prayer that we could all use as we seek to do battle against our own personal sins. In verse 1, he says, blot out my sin. And there, what it means is, sin is a debt that needs to be paid. I am a debtor to God on account of my sin. But praise God for Calvary, where the sin debt was fully paid. And I am no longer a debtor. I am free. I am free. Blot out. I am a debtor to sin. And then in verse 2, he says, cleanse me. And there the word is defilement. Defilement caused by touching something unclean or the defilement that comes from disease. On the one hand, sin is a debt. And on the other hand, sin is a defilement. Cleanse me from this defilement. And the third word that uh, David uses is wash me. And that comes in verses 2 and 7. Wash me. And this refers to the cleansing of dirty clothing. And there is your third D word. Dirty clothing. Isaiah 64, 6, all our good works are referred to as filthy garments. And when you and I wear a garment that has become filthy, 
drenched with sweat and dirt, what do we do? We remove it and we wash it thoroughly uh, in uh, soap. And uh, we might even put some bleach and uh, we want it to be clean. And uh, David says, wash me whiter than snow. There are many hymns composed in our hymn book based on this verse. Wash me whiter than snow. A reminder of Isaiah 1.18. So look at all these uh, expressions together. Blot out my sins. I am in debt to sin. Cleanse me. I am defiled. Wash me. I am dirty. What appropriate prayers to pray in the misery of our sin. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.